was about 12 or 13, I was in my junior high um, drill team where we dance at football games. My coach noticed that I was not standing up straight and my back was hurting all the time, so I was a bad dancer. <laughs> and so I went to the doctor and they did an x-ray and said that I had very minor scoliosis. And then we watched it for about two years and then I went back, they did another x-ray and it had progressed to the point where I needed a brace. Other things kind of started happening. I don't know if, if it has any correlation to the scoliosis, but um, I would do exercises to strengthen my back because that's what everyone told me to do. And I'd pull on um, the kind of bands and my wrists would dislocate and my hips would just kind of fall. Like it would just kind of come out. I could feel it slide out. Those were just strange things and we mentioned it to the people that we were seeing for my scoliosis because they're orthopedics and you know, mom, I think that we should look f around and do some other looking for doctors because you know, they didn't help us. <laughs> All things considered, I, I did really well in school. My senior year of high school, I almost didn't graduate because um, I was in the hospital. We heard of a doctor named Dr. Dimaggio, so I went and saw her and I got all my concerns addressed because there's a lot, you know, we didn't, I never had any genetic testing done. If I wouldn't have gotten the genetic testing, I wouldn't have known that I had a gene that causes aortic aneurysms and we didn't know what to expect. So we came in with an open mind and she answered our questions, kind of helped me, you know, understand kind of what my future would probably look like. Ehlers Danlos Syndrome is a connective tissue disorder. Um, it's actually a very common um, disorder in the, in the field of genetics. We see it quite commonly in our clinic, um, but maybe outside um, the genetics clinic, outside in the community, many providers are not able to recognize this disorder. So Nicole presented to us, I would say, at the uh, extreme end of the spectrum because she had uh, hypermobility and then she also had many other musculoskeletal problems that we commonly see in patients with ehlers danlos syndrome, for example, scoliosis. So she had this um, severe scoliosis that hadn't been taken care of before um, and so we helped identify a surgeon for her uh, that could help manage the scoliosis. And one thing we wanted to get to the Mayo Clinic for was is she sick all the time? Is that related to EDS or is that something else? Her tachycardia, is that related to EDS? You know, all these different symptoms that she was having, but you know, her back issue. It, we wanted to know if it was related and nobody would help us. So finally we went, came to the Mayo Clinic, they got all these appointments and it all came together. All the pieces of the puzzle now finally put together. <laughs> we only can go up from here. I'm hoping that it's, it changes her life and have a normal teenage life that, you know, she's well deserved. I think that the outcome is going to be positive. My surgeons have really high hopes. I think that it'll still be successful and I'll kind of get a new lease on life, hopefully. Mm -hmm.